Is there anybody in this room who aspires to be a taxi driver? Or a parent who would wish that their children drive taxis? No? Okay. So now for a second, just imagine that all of you sitting here are British Pakistani men. Did you know that every fourth person sitting here could end up driving a taxi? As per the Equality and Human Rights Commission report 2010, 25% of British Pakistani men drive taxis for a living. When you board a taxi, have you ever wondered, what is the story of this man? Why does he drive a taxi? Let me tell you one such story, Abdul's story. Abdul's father came from Pakistan to work in a textile mill in Manchester. The day Abdul was born was both a happy and a sad day for the family. Abdul's father lost his job in the mill where he was working as it was closing down. As most mills around that time were, a Pakistani man with poor English language ability, few skills, and almost no qualification, he found it very difficult to get another job in the rising service sector economy. Reluctantly, he took up taxi driving to continue paying his bills. Abdul started going to school, and his father hoped that one day, Abdul will be a manager in a large firm. Well, Abdul joined a large firm, but not as a manager, as a packer and a cleaner. And even after years of hard work, he could never be a manager. Today, like his father, Abdul drives a taxi. He has a son who goes to school, and Abdul hopes that one day he will be a manager in a large firm. Man is born free, but lives in a structured world, where unfortunately, many a times, his life chances are determined by who his parents are, which country he comes from, and what God he prays to. People like Abdul need just one chance to alter their lives and that of their next generation. But some things hold them back. Is it the society? Is it their own culture? Is it Abdul's family, his father, or is it Abdul himself? My research uses life stories to find out these factors so that one day, Abdul's son can choose to be whatever he wants to be. Thank you.